What's up guys and welcome, you are watching Fuzzy Fitness. I am gonna start this video with the physique update of Samson Balda, a guy who many people consider the most dangerous bodybuilder entering this year's Mr. Olympia. And the reason is his ability to make drastic improvements from one show to another. I mean we all saw his Arnold Classic version in March and how better it was compared to the Olympia last year. And they were like only 3-4 to four months between the Olympia and the Arnold. So that transformation happened in just a matter of a few months. So imagine what he's gonna look like at the Olympia this year. Now people can say whatever they wanna say about the Arnold Classic this year. That was close between him and Nick Walker. But the judges did not see it that way as we saw that on the scorecards. Now we all know Samson has the high advantage against the top 3 guys in the world. Nick Walker, David Lansford and Hadi Chopin. And I don't know why some people out there do not consider height as an advantage. And yes, I know you need more time and more muscle to fill out that frame. But once that is accomplished, then you become a whole another beast. Just like Samson and Andrew Jacked. And when you are as big as Samson, and also have beautiful lines along with some of the best front and the side shots, then height absolutely does matter. So a top 6 finish at his Olympia debut. Where did you guys think he will place this year? What are your predictions? Will he beat Nick Walker once again? And the reason I'm asking that is because I do think that Andrew Jack, he isn't there just yet to beat Nick Walker. He needs to bring up his side shorts, especially his legs. But Samson Dada is a different story. And I do think that he will beat Nick Walker once again here at the Olympia. And yes, I know that all these guys are making superb improvements this time. But the thing is the amount of improvements that we saw from Samson in just a matter of 3 months after the Olympia last year. And now that he is saying he is making even better progress. I don't think Nick Walker will be able to hold him here. But that is just my opinion, you guys can disagree with that. Do let me know what you guys think. Some new pictures released by Good Vito today specifically one shot that all of us wanted to see. The back double bicep pose. Because that is where Vito is gonna lose the ground against Nathan Deasha. Regan Grimes and Blessing. I think all three of these guys will beat him in that shot. A lot of people are worried about his conditioning as well. But keep in mind Chris Asito is the one prepping Vito here. So I think he's gonna be spawn on conditioning wise. And here is the thing. I am so ready to watch him hit the front double bicep. And I think majority of the bodybuilding fans are. Especially against some of the best front doubles in the IFBB right now. We take Regan Grimes, Nathan or Blessing. And consider Blessing from Indie Pro last year. All three of these guys have exceptional front double bicep shots. But good v proportions might be the best out of all these guys. So he's gonna do pretty well from the front. We have been hyping up v for such a long time. And hopefully he will deliver here. And that doesn't mean that he has to win the show. I mean let's be real the competition here is really tough. But if he gets some good comparisons and checks out some of these guys, it will be really impressive. I couldn't be more happy watching Regan Rhymes beating all of his previous best locks. That is without a shadow of a doubt the best version of Regan to date. The size, the density, the conditioning, everything is upgraded. And just looking at his recent physique update, you kind of understand why people are picking him as the favorite to win here not only just in Italy but in Spain and in France as well. His lower half, especially those hamstrings, those are on another level. His glutes are looking equally impressive especially if you compare to the competition that he has here like Nathan Deisha and Blessing. And Nathan did admit that he is gonna be better from the side as well as from the back especially in the lower half. But the thing is Nathan has those round and bubbly muscles in the upper body. So it is gonna be one hell of a show. Now from the looks of all these update pictures and videos. It seems like that the European tour is Regan's to lose. But then again you have to wait until they all step on the stage. And under the same light. And then we can see how they compare with each other. 
Nevertheless, I am really excited for this year's European tour. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.